hello, hello, and welcome! I'm Christine E. Schultz, aka the Elvish author. That's right, the young adult fantasy author who likes to watch and react and give my thoughts on uh, shows, typically fantasy, since that's what I write. Although, every now and then, we uh, might like to do something else, like Squid Game. Squid Game obviously wasn't technically fantasy, although it was it did have kind of a dystopian feel to it in a sense, even though I know it wasn't that either. Anyway, we're still up my alley. Point is, sidetracked already. Welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be watching some more Arcane. We're doing Season 1, obviously, and Episode 3 today. So, last episode, let me try to refresh myself real quick. We met a couple characters. We met Jace, who uh, looked like he was trying to research, you know, he was the guy that, um, Powder, I keep wanting to call her Cloud, for whatever reason, <laughs> uh, Powder, um, had taken the blue crystals from that created the explosion and unfortunately his research was kind of deemed unsafe especially since he mentioned that he thought that they could use science to reinvent magic essentially and that was kind of frowned upon it seems like they created this town because they were escaping the mages in the first place I don't remember exactly but it sounded like the mages had some corruptible magic or you know their magic was kind of dangerous and so they kind of came here to escape magic in the first place of course as with everything not saying that magic is inherently evil but they've had some bad run-ins in it and so now it's kind of like off limits topic it seems um and so he got expelled from the university and but it was interesting because we got to see more of the above the above world with like more of the rich more of the well-to-do and just kind of see again that you know class is a big thing in this world um, and that even someone like Jace being in the upper world is still kind of like on the lower end of the totem pole of the upper world. And so he, uh, honestly was so upset about what happened that he, you could tell that he was going to commit suicide. Um, and that one guy stopped him and was like, hey, I actually like to help you with your research. Uh, so that really shows like how important this is to Jason, how important it is to him that he doesn't just, you know, take over his family's trade, like he wants to really do what he wants to do. And that's a big part of his identity, obviously. Um, so it was cool meeting him. We met Caitlin, his friend who would still like to be his friend, even though it's going to be completely frowned upon now that, you know, I mean, I think I mentioned last time, like how fast, how easy and fast it is to go from being accepted in this society to no, you're no good now. You're not, you know, you're not good enough. You're not rich enough. You're not, you know, uh, you got a reputation now. So we, we don't care to hang out with you and associate with you anymore. Um, but hopefully we get to see both of them more. Hopefully at some point, Jace will combine with our current crew in the Undercity. And of course the episode ended with V, Vi, Vi, you guys reminded me, Vi, um, giving herself... Well, it looks like she's going to give herself over to uh, the the enforcers, essentially, to protect Powder and, um, you know, everybody else. And like I said, that was a horrific cliffhanger to end on, but also well done. So we are excited to jump in today. If you're new here and you enjoy what you see today, please feel free to subscribe so that you know when new videos come out. I do two shows a week. Try to do an episode a week for each show. Of course, sometimes things like vacations or illness comes up and that doesn't happen. But for the most part, that's how we're uh, how we're doing things here is once per week per show. And uh, yeah, feel free to drop a like so that others can find the video as well. Enjoy it. Leave a non-spoiler comment. And feel free to check out my Patreon if you want to vote on the next shows. And also check out my social media as well, such as Facebook and Instagram and I you know I'm not really on either of those a lot but hey if you want <laughs> occasional photos and updates and also uh, you can check out my books as well I have some Amazon links below I will be honest in saying that right now I am redoing a lot of my older books nothing major changes but just going through with a fresh fresh editor um, for some of them and uh, just doing like a, a cleaner line edit. Some of them are older books and back in the day I couldn't afford to do that and now I can. So just wanting them to be absolutely on par with all my other books and uh, gonna be you know, updating the covers just a little bit as well, tweaking them here and there. So feel free to still get them and enjoy them but know that they will be a little bit more updated in the next couple of months. So. At any rate, um, on that note, I think we can go ahead and jump into today's episode. Go ahead and strap on your elf ears, 
pop in your elf eyes and get ready to watch and listen to Arcane. By the way, I totally got my friend Adam into watching this show. I told him I was, I was reacting to it. And so he started watching it and he loved it and he binged the whole thing. So now I'm at a point kind of like with Avatar <laughs> where uh, he has watched the entire show. I mean, it's only one season so far. But, you know, we can't talk about it because I got to take my time and do these reaction videos. Same with uh, my boyfriend Isaac who had already watched the show, uh, you know. So we got, got a couple people that I will, I'm sure will be good to talk to more about the show. Uh, but so far, the consensus from everybody is, you know, amazing graphics, amazing um, character development, as I'm sure I will see more of as we go through. And, uh, you know, Adam was very impressed just by how good it looks visually. And he looked up and he said that, uh, I forget how much he said they spent per episode, but basically he was like, I think that might be the most per episode that anyone has ever spent on an animated show. Like, it was up there, like, Game of Thrones level of budget. So, I mean, it does look really good. Even if the story and characters sucked, I think you would still like looking at it. <laughs> it's very pretty. Um, so, yeah. Explosive and slick. Those are interesting words to describe this show. <laughs> the base violence necessary for change. These titles have even been on point for these chapters, guys. I... They're not chapters. I'm calling them chapters. I'm so used to like Avatar or something like that where, you know, it's like a chapter. Um, but they are named like you would expect chapters to be named in a book. The base violence necessary for change. You've had that whole thing of the Undercity being like, you know, we need to fight back. And, you know, Vandor being like, eh, you know, will that really do anything? Is that the right thing? But then, you know, you have the concept of sometimes... Unfortunately, things don't change unless some violence, you know, unless somebody takes that first step to fight. And I'm not saying whether I can condone that. I mean, I don't really condone violence in general, but at the same time, I understand that sometimes that is how things get done. Sometimes war is how things get accomplished, although I don't necessarily say that that is obviously the best way either. Um, so it's kind of a little bit of a gray morality, you know, a kind, kind of a... Yeah, and plus two, it's just like a really good title for a for a chapter, you know? Oh, yes, please give me your good soundtrack. Alright, who is this? Ever wonder what it's like to drown? There's peace in water. Like peace in water, but at the same time. Whispering in low tones to let you it could in. die. And every problem in the world will fade away. Is it, oh yeah, that's right. The one kid last time. Looks like maybe he got the eye thing. Like uh, our lead then, villain, for lack of better words right now. Thing in your head. And it's raging. Lighting every nerve with madness. Mm -hmm. It goes fight. from peace to, yeah, as I say, it's peaceful, but then you could die from it. And all the while, this question lingers before you. Man, what happened to him? Have you had enough? Sonny, you, you could pass a lifetime without ever facing a choice like oh. that. But it changes you forever. For that, I thank you. Oh, Oh friend. gosh, is that... Did he kind of like die and come back or what? it doesn't matter I have to sing the song we can talk about stuff later guys so I still haven't looked up the lyrics and memorized these which is awful so the silence for the from my ear up to the ground behold the stories that I told tell you you're the greatest Everybody wants to be my enemy. Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. My enemy. This ain't no way. I just want to comment real quick that 
when I have these headphones in, I can't honestly tell if I sound any good singing or not. So if I don't, I apologize. I don't edit these. Isaac does. And I don't need to like actually watch the whole thing. So hopefully I'm not singing horrendously. But I'm having a great time either way. So that was interesting backstory. I'm, I couldn't tell. It seemed like I have a big guy. It almost seemed like our... I, I can't remember his name. They just showed it. But I'm calling him the main villain just because even though there's a lot of other things at play, like we know he's up to something. But the guy with the mechanical or whatever eye looked like somebody tried to drown him and it almost looked like it could have been Vandor just because he was kind of a big, bigger built person. But I guess we might find out this episode. Bye. You're brave and bold and we love you and we love you protecting yourself, your sister, but what you doing? Oh, jeez, Wiz. Ah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I. This is. What a cliffhanger! But then there's uh, to, to be okay. You've got a good heart. Don't you gotta go, you. sweetheart. No matter how the world tries to break you. Protect she's a fighter, but she is very compassionate. I like that combination as well. She's a fighter, but she's got a very good, tender heart. Oh man. for me uh, you gonna let us make the arrest or not no, thank you you'll oblige a doomed man one last smoke what's he gonna do what's he gonna do is he really smoking won't you uh, I'm not putting you away Amanda the council needs its pound of flesh without you down here that's true he kind of keeps the peace between the two sides Benzo will handle things. I may not have my devilish charm. Which is something that Vi didn't understand. Like I think I don't think she necessarily understands like why would he like how would he work for them? Um, but he's really trying to keep the peace between both sides. Now in the long run, does like get true peace accomplished? Maybe not, but he's keeping a sense of order for everybody. Why? It's the only way. Yeah, you're gonna break your hand doing that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Gosh, and she was one of the ones that also kind of helped keep the peace between both sides. Is this a new foe? Is this like... Why do I feel really anxious? This, I, so I can say, that's what's his face, isn't it? I'll know, Silco, thank you. I was like, I'll know his name one day. Oh, this would be, be this, this would be between them as well, because remember he, at the first episode, was against Vandor. So they do have something going on from their past. Never did know when to walk away. Wait! Oh shit. Stubborn to the end. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah, what? This one Are you working deal. with him? Okay, that checks out. Deal's changed. Oh man, that just got serious really fast. Also just seeing like Vandor slump down like that, like he really cared about Benza. Like that's uh really painful for him. Also, what are you? What have you turned into? Guys, we're not even like two minutes in and it's already a lot. Oh, is that the young guy? Gosh, what did he turn him into? Yeah, he looks blonde. I think that is the young guy. Yeah, you'd be lucky you alive, okay? Yeah, he's like, yeah, that wasn't worth that money, okay. Oh, man. Again, with the silent screaming. This show's so well done, guys. Oh. This entire time, I thought I needed to dampen the... Oh, Jace, you're still working. That's a, that's a ray of hope, so... High frequency. You have to... We might need some magic to stop whatever this other guy's plan. Silco. 
crank it. It works. Yeah, on paper. Well, we could test it if we had access to my equipment. Which is being destroyed tomorrow. Wait, mm. what? Oh, you could have not left it out. I meant to tell you. Maybe if we showed them the equations, they'd let no, us... We need more than promises. We need Man, that was a really emotional <laughs> opening. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> so... While they're gone. Goodness. Yeah, locked away in Heimerdinger. No, oh. no, no. You heard the council. If we're wrong, got to be right, then. Scientists seek discoveries. Ways to make the world... I mean, it's probably worth place. it if you're right. This hex so... of yours has the potential to do that. Hex tech. I like that name, too. That's cool. Our hex tech dream. Look at you two teaming up. I saw everything. Oh, no. But, but, no, I don't like that you saw everything. What about Vander? They took him. Where? If anybody knows, little man probably does. Are we remembering a past memory or what is this? Oh, this is the stuff that what's his face had taken, right? It's a little crude, I'll admit. The base violence necessary. Base for violence change. necessary for change. There's our title, y'all. But we both know Topside won't listen to anything else. What's he gonna do? Like create a war with, Even with your monsters Vandor you won't win not war being down better. there and I don't have to. I just need to scare them. For respect. Opportunity. Everything they've been. Oh, did you come from the underworld? The inner city? The lane's respect for that. That was never enough for you. We shared a vision, Vanda. Ah. A dream. You guys were like allies. What happened between you two? But the whole of the underground united as one. Do you even remember? Were they going to be like their own nation? Like I their own you. kind of country, essentially? Yeah, what happened between you two? And you betrayed me. I've never forgiven myself. Aww. You are my Vandor is such a heartwarming guy. <laughs> I love him. Can you imagine what it's like when your blood mixes with the filth and the river toxins eat through your nerves? Is that why he looks like he does? Oh, I hated you for what you'd done. But as time passed, so did my How did he come back? Like, did he actually die is my question. And I was left with an understanding. The only way to defeat a superior enemy is to stop at nothing. To become what they fear. Mm. I hated you, but you kept my respect. Until you made peace with them played lapdog after everything we suffered yeah i think fandor is no trying to get the least people killed as possible though also what is that creepy chair but now you do uh Shema, we have the power we can finally realize this might be the best way to gain peace Brother, i'm fighting topside you'd sacrifice yeah who like you are at your are. core it's not the yeah. way He's not really being better than the top side people. Kill me if you have to, but please spare the lanes. You'd die for the cause, but you won't fight for one. I'm just. Not like I understand Sukko's perspective. Like he's got a lot of anger and stuff. You really are. But maybe this isn't the best tactic. Episode just has you on edge, doesn't it? <laughs> Meanwhile, breaking into Mr. Heimerdinger. Still love to know more about him. He's fantastic. What a little fantastic little man. Now well, we knew you were gonna get caught, so willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. The counselor. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, she has some interest in him and his work, so. Please. We can prove that it works. You're the professor's assistant. No, he's my new partner. Even if you manage to prove your theory, the council would destroy it. Heimerdinger will recognize the potential. <laughs> he I, does. I was gonna say, seems like Heimerdinger has some what? bad history with magic, so. 
I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. Now, what, what, I'm curious what she wants, like what her angle is, but she's definitely interested in their work. Also, her aesthetic Kelsey, is on point. This technology, it's real. And no matter what happens here, it's going to change our world. For good or bad, hey, yeah, in the right hands at least. The land of progress, equality, innovation. One night, gentlemen. Impress me, or I'd suggest you pack your bags. Better than nothing, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. I think. Dibs on the back. No, 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 I found it. These two. I found it. Respect the dibs. Respect the stumpies. Do they know yet? They can't know yet what happened. Oh boy. Where's the? Oh, you're back. Oh, sweetheart, a lot. Yeah, a lot, a lot kind of happened. That's going to be kind of hard to tell anybody, especially her sister. Hey, those are Vanders. Slow down. What's going on? Benzo's dead. Dead? They took Vander. Who took Vander? I don't know, but I need to help him. We're going with you. Like nothing I've ever seen. It tore oh, gosh, I like seeing like Powder's emotion as well. Like uh, someone had commented that, you know, in the first episode like you see powder like you see like her fear like during the fight in the alleyway and about how it just kind of immobilizes and terrifies her and that could be partly from what she experienced in the past um when vander first rescued them and it could just be too because again she's not really like a fighter type of personality um and I, again i don't think that fighting is ever going to be her strong suit although i hope that she develops her courage more as the story goes along i think that she will in her own way uh, but i was also going to say too that i really like seeing vi be emotional vi is a very tough character and sometimes you don't always get that combination of really tough really good at fighting and defending themselves but having really deep emotions as well so i think that's a really good uh, characterization you're not doing this alone Vi. So and of course she feels responsible, you know. Echo followed them. The old cannery next Powder, to Powder, what are you doing, love? He said... Oh, okay, I thought that was Powder picking up the stuff. I was like, ugh. I need you to sit this one out, Powder. What? You're not coming. I'm not afraid. It's too dangerous. But a family sticks together. You said it yourself. I know what I said. I want to fight. I can help. You're not ready. You're all I have left. Yeah. I can't lose you. They're so good together. They're so if, good. If they come for you, take this and run. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find mm -hmm. you. I promise. I'm sorry. It's hard to hear from her sister, but, you know, Vi needs to protect her. I get it, so. But I know she wants to be able to do more to help. It's all here. I hope this works, gents. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, don't answer that. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do, but you're not supposed to explode the entire room this time. I don't think it's gonna hold. Look at the buildup. The resonance will stabilize it. So trust me. He's like, why are you so calm? Oh yeah, you do still have those. I mean, I don't really know. Oh, baby. Uh, they have such realistic emotions in this. Gosh, I mean, who has never like cried like this before? Especially with the screaming. Yeah. Don't. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, keep an eye on those. Keep, keep, uh, keep a hold on those, if you will. Yeah, you're putting it together. You're putting it together. I can help no, them. No, sweetheart. You probably sure can, but you probably shouldn't go out there by yourself. <laughs> you guys know exactly where you're going? Look at that, gents. All right. All yours. Wow. Oh, it was going so 
well. Oh. Oh. Snap. Incredible. Well, something happened. I think the window maybe put itself back together. I'm not sure. Oh, they're probably just baiting you, honestly. Oh, it's just no good, no good, no good, no good. There's no way he's by himself. Is there? I don't know. I don't trust it. Vander's not pleased. Ugh. What are you doing here? We're breaking you out. Ah, uh, she's got deep so quickly. Not that it wasn't already, but... Uh, just all the different character dynamics. What wondering what went on between God, Silco everyone. and Vandor, exactly. We found an open window and... <sighs> You have to get out. Now. Welcome. Yeah, if I say we all know this is a, is planned. See, I like that too though. The kids are smart. The kids are smart, but they're not too smart, you know. If I kind of just act impulsively and they are still young, and that is, you know, that's a very realistic for the thing for them to do. Um, without realizing like, hey, yeah, this is totally gonna be a trap. You know, she just kinda acts. On what she feels is right in the moment. You have my congratulations. Vander the coward fled town with his children. And they were never seen again. Uh, <laughs> Powder, we're gonna need you to show up real fast. Okay. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Sweetheart, you ain't gonna just fight them single uh, though. Okay, this is this is no good, no good, no good. I don't think we should do this. Vi, I commend you your your spirit, but good night. You're gonna die doing this, sweetheart. So do you know how big he is? Is he not the size of everything? Okay, but come on, powder, do something. Throw it. Uh. Ooh. Episode is so stressful. <laughs> this is obviously an adult show. Like anything could happen, you know. Uh, we've already had one person die. Her fighting things are pretty cool, though. Those are pretty legit. Oh no! 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 Come on! Don't be noticed. Vander is so good with the kids. Absolutely love. So many of these character dynamics. Nice. Well, we're gonna get everybody out if Powder has anything to say about it. Yeah, can you like... I mean... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's... Silco, she's tough, okay? Uh, he's watching her, possibly. I don't know if he's watching with any interest. Ready to rise to the oh, surface. nope. Okay, we're doing this. Even the spawn guy is becoming an interesting, you know, character. Like, what are you doing, man? Oh, it doesn't seem like you should ingest that. And it doesn't seem like you should fight that. Powder, th yeah, if you're biding your time, this is a good moment. Milo, hurry. No, 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 no. No. Throw it, powder. Powder, do something. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he's literally gonna rip your head off. Let it go. Yeah, now would be the time. Now would now would definitely be the time. Oh my goodness. Can we can we skedaddle? Can we skedaddle quickly? You did good. <laughs> He's so cute. Stop this lunacy and almost through. No pressure. Oh, come on, come on, come on, guys. Show show I don't know. Make it work. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh. Uh. Oh, we're floating, huh? We've certainly created something that's not exploding everything, so that's fantastic. But well, at any rate, it's beautiful. Actually, done it, but just because it doesn't mean it should be. I. Yeah. Will you please stop? <laughs> no. I'm not sure how to do that. I wouldn't prefer to stop hovering, so. This is not what Piltover's future looks like, my Yeah, dear you guys kind of left us behind, didn't you? But... That's for the council to decide. Perhaps it's time. For the era of magic. Uh, Hextech. For the era of... <laughs> Trademark that, gentlemen. Combo of science and magic. Like, that's really cool. I don't... It's a unique concept. Go for it, girl. I love that she, aww, it's her, her, she's very inventive and creative, but just like also then like her little animals, like. Like even the way that her things are created is so pure, you know? <laughs> He's so angry. Oh, that's cool. She put the thing in between the, the crystal between the symbols. She's so clever. That's so cool. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what actually the heck is this? Don't hit that, my good man. You don't want to hit that. <laughs> Bye. Oh, no, did it stop? Uh, uh, come on. Yeah, boy. There we go. Woo! Man, the effects on that, though. Oh, good. Burn it all. Burn up all his research. Ooh, there goes that guy. Uh, powder? That's so cool. It's like falling stars. It's the visuals. Man, it's just still going. Are we all okay? Is everybody okay? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Did she just kill, like, everybody? I hope this doesn't put a damper on Jace's, uh, research, but... Wait, oh no, 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 no. I already feel bad that Powder's gonna find out that she killed Milo and Clagger, but like I hope not her sister too. Okay, well Vice. Powder, I don't know if you did more good or or not, although destroying a lot of their research is good, but... Yeah, uh, some of his kids are dead, and y'all gonna get... ...beat up now. watched a lot of shit today. Oh, 
sweetheart. Oh no. She's gonna know. Oh my goodness, does she think that powder's dead too? Probably. them is like repeated gosh just coming full circle with how he attacked him before and Oh my goodness, this is so stressful. Vandor, are you... Is he gonna take this stuff in order to survive? Gosh, isn't that a turn of events? Because you know he hates this stuff. You know he hates what it turns everybody into and what Silco has become. Oh my goodness. Why are you gonna keep fighting or do you not even care because you think that you just lost everybody? Oh shoot, yeah, this is hulked out, Vandor. Oh man, like seriously hulked out, Vandor. Yeah, but he doesn't want to attack her either. Gosh, do the effects of that like ever wear off or are you just like affected permanently? Yeah, um uh, Might wanna run. Come on, yeah, you gotta choose to save her. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, it's still not over. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Vandor, are you, like, permanently, like, affected by this stuff now? But he did it to save her. Or maybe he's... Or maybe that was, like, the last stand to save her. Take care of Powder. Oh, my goodness. It sure was. Yeah, he's bleeding. He's... <laughs> Oh, such good character relationships. That was his last, his last bit of strength to save her was taking that stuff. No, sweetheart, you don't know. Did you you don't that? know. My monkey bomb finally worked. Oh, she said it would work next time, didn't she? You did this. Just like, oh no. Why? Why did you do this? They were saving me. Oh, sweetheart. I think they would have had it under control without her, though, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it. I only wanted to help. I only wanted to help my own. I told you to stay away. Please. I told you to stay away. No. Why did you leave me? Because you're a jinx. Do you hear me? Milo was right. No. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, 
Can you please be the last person to find us? I swear, oh, okay, who are you? Also, this is the end of the episode, we all know it. Hello. Little He's gonna take advantage of her, she's... Your sister? Think that she's abandoned her because she caused all of this. Oh gosh, this has some of the most realistic character like reactions and emotions in it. Oh my goodness. He's gonna use that. It's but I feel like he also might in a way have that connection because I'll show them. Yeah, he's got a lot of anger in him. We will show them all. And just how Vandor betrayed him, he kind of understands Powder feeling betrayed by her sister. Not saying I want her in this in the hands of this guy, but oh, there's kind of that connection there too. Like, oh, we'll show them what we're capable of, and Powder's always been the jinx, like she said, and you know, wants to show that she could be helpful. Well, it wasn't that a lot. Okay, so that was actually just a lot. That was an emotional freaking roller coaster. And again, if I wasn't reacting and being aware of trying to say how I'm feeling throughout, I would have <laughs> cried a lot more than you guys saw me crying at like the last two, two minutes there. Um, I mean, honestly, this felt a lot longer than like 40 minutes and not in a bad way like sometimes things feel really long because they're boring and this is definitely the opposite but I just feel like so much happened in one episode that it's insane um you know Vi wanting to sacrifice herself for Vandor and the others him not letting her do that just seeing all of like the relationships between the characters how much compassion Vandor has for Vi and Milo and Stragor and Powder, how much compassion Vi has for others. Um, like I said, you have like some really tough characters, but they're more dynamic than that. They're more complex than that. They have like that compassion to them for the people that they really care about. And just at the end, oh, what's this called? The base violence necessary for change. That all just sparked a change. That's that's for sure because now we have some completely different dynamics. Everybody kind of got pushed to their limits, you know. Vi, obviously at the end, was feeling overwhelming pain, going through all of that, fighting and fighting, and honestly, they might have escaped, now that I'm thinking about it, if Powder had not intervened. I think they might have actually had it. And then to know that, and to then to figure out that Powder was the reason that they all died, and Vi kind of encouraged her. She was like, next time, your toy, your invention's gonna work. And shit, it sure did, guys, <laughs> it sure did. Um. So Vi, obviously at the end, overwhelming amount of pain after everything that she's endured that day, understandably lashes out at Powder. Um, but I think that was Powder's being point also of being put over the edge because she's been told continuously, you're in the way, you're, you don't know what you're doing, you're not ready, you're not good enough, you don't, you know, and uh, she tried to help and she got a bunch of people killed and now she is going to be under the guidance of Silco, who, again, Silco and Powder have kind of had interesting dynamics because Silco felt betrayed by Vandor and Powder feels betrayed by Vi. And uh, this is not the direction I thought Powder was going to go in whatsoever, but this has made her automatically a vastly more even interesting character than she already was. And 
that even seems like a completely separate story to what we have going on with Jace and them, and they've created, like, some good, like, science magic. But I feel like, you know, in the hands of Powder and Silco, these blue crystals could be a bad idea. I don't know. Anyway, a lot of emotions, a lot of what I felt were, like, very realistic emotional reactions from characters. You know, some real gut-wrenching, like, crying and just real, really real reactions. So I thought that's all really well done. Gorgeous animation. I mean, this just, like, all took, like, a, a turn. The first two episodes were really good, for sure. Had some emotional moments in them. But this just, like, took a whole, a whole turn, guys. I don't even have a ton to say just because it was just a lot of emotions and a lot of things happened. Um, so, yeah, we're going to leave it at that need to probably uh, process any of that and definitely we'll be looking forward to next time's uh, next week's video uh, that yeah take some time to process this and watch another one next week um on that note thank you so much for being here here for feel free again to leave non-spoiler comments below if there's anything in the first three episodes you'd like to talk about so far uh you know drop a like subscribe check out patreon if you want to vote on the next show all that good stuff and, uh, wow, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.